What's up YouTube, this is Shonky91. Haven't done a video in a while, but here's something just to stay updated a little bit. Uh, what I'm running over here now is an application for the iPad, which is called Windows 8 Testbed, which is by the very popular uh, remote desktop streaming uh, company, uh, Splashtop. And what they've actually done is, is that they've written an app that allows you to simulate what Windows 8 would be like running on the tablet environment. And this is mostly geared at application developers who are trying to determine uh, what applications will look and feel like um, on a tablet-like device. So what I have is, is I have a remote computer over here, which is just uh, my laptop, that is running Windows 8, as well as the Splashtop streamer software, uh, which you can download for free from Splashtop's website. Uh, the application that I'm installing here on the iPad is the Windows 8 testbed application that can be downloaded from the App Store um, for $9.99. Now, it's actually a great deal given as initially this application on launch was $49.99. So you can imagine that there are definitely uh, great savings to be had if you download it right now. So I'll just show you over here that everything does work. Everything is touch enabled, so we're at the lock screen over here and I will just pan away to put in my password. Just a second here. Okay, and as you can see now, I am on the Windows 8 start screen, and as you can see, I'm using my finger over here uh, to control the interface. Everything was actually working really nicely. I was surprised at how smooth it was because a lot of these remote desktop applications really give you a very choppy experience. Uh, what's also neat is is that to really simulate what the what the touch environment will be like is uh, multi-touch gestures. So you can see over here that if I pinch out I get kind of this overview look of uh, the Metro applications which are running uh, on the machine. And I could then just jump into a given section over here. So we'll just try a little test over here. So for example with Maps, launches the application full screen. And again, there's actually nothing do, uh, going on on the iPad uh, other than uh, the application that's running which is streaming it from my computer. So all the uh, number crunching and all the processes are being done remotely on my computer. As you can see again over here that you know panning around you know and zooming in actually works pretty well again for an application which is being streamed uh, over the internet. Uh, if I wanted to now get back to the home screen I could either bring up the on-screen keyboard and tap the Windows key uh, which actually doesn't seem to have worked. Oh, it did. Or, alternatively, what I could do is, is that if I jump into another app, like let's say, for example, Internet Explorer, I could bring in the Charms menu from the side, just with the swiping gesture. That is a little bit laggy, mind you, and tap the Start button. Uh, what's cool is, is that also the multitasking works if you swipe from the other side. So for example, I can now drag back in the Maps application, and if I wanted to get rid of it, I should technically be able to just drag it down. And now it's gone. So really, really impressive work um, for the Splash team, uh, team I guess, uh, given as I have a tablet, I have an HP touchpad, which has a touchscreen already, so I know personally what the touch experience is like, but now running it on my iPad I can see that it's definitely very representative of what the actual experience is like on a full-fledged uh, device. And again, this is all being streamed over the internet and the sheer fluidity of the graphics is just really, is really, really impressive. Let's see again, everything is really working very nicely over here. So this has been just a quick video. Uh, more to come soon. Uh, rate, comment, and enjoy, and above all, subscribe. Thanks a lot.